we have uh, two pretty good years here. We got 1979, uh, in which we, one of my favorite stories is pop music by M. Yeah. M is a man called Robin Scott. And this was a world hit so fast he hadn't even had time to sign a publishing deal so he got all the publishing money so he made a fortune from having this one huge hit and then of course uh, who is it who doesn't have to put on the red light yeah okay that that record is there and it's a great it, record and that was it, it was so touching to me because um i saw the, the police at the bottom line in new york and uh and Sting afterwards said, my mother tells me she knows I'm doing well over here because she heard Roxanne on your show. Oh, that's a Isn't lovely that thing to hear, yeah. Yeah. And uh, just everything from the theme from the deer hunter to put easy and walkways. So what more could you want for 1979? Now, 1987... It's the end of uh, what could be the longest metamorphosis in, in pop history as Starship are number one. Now, Starship having started out in America and having their first hit in 1967 with Somebody to Love, which everybody knows is When the Truth is Found, you know, that one. And, um, and then they became Jefferson Starship, and then finally they became Starship, forget about Jefferson, and they have their number one. So, whew, they're yes. finally here. Uh, and also, uh, in this chart, there is the person whom Dermot has christened the king of Eurovision, Johnny Logan. Yes. Uh, he it is a pretty amazing story. He won twice and he wrote another winner. That's not going to be equal for a long time. No. So, great show. And then, let's talk about... I mean, yes, one yeah, doesn't, you want to use words like icon or goddess or the queen of rock and roll, but there was nobody like her. No. Uh, and I think now, as we realise, the era is leaving us. Mm. And we have to get used to feeling grief. Uh, I started uh, Tina Day at five o'clock being taken to Good Morning Britain, yeah. my old haunt. And uh, and it just kept going all day. It, it, it wasn't a three-hour wonder. No. It was the first loss since David Bowie when people were surprised at how much it meant to them personally. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't just a series of hit records. And, of course, uh, what resonated with hundreds of millions of women is that here was someone who escaped an abuser. Now, as I came in here, I saw you have Dermot O'Leary birthday cakes. We did. Which reminds me of the reason Tina told me she actually left at the moment she left. She, of course, had been abused for a long time, but many men abuse many women. And often the women think, well, maybe this is what comes with the deal. Or did I do something wrong? But one day, Ike made her eat an entire cake. Mm for his own gratification. Piece after piece after piece. It was revolting, and she thought, okay, this is sick. And if this is sick, then most of the rest of it was probably yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. And then she made that historic decision to leave with the change in her pocket. And uh, she rose spectacularly in a way which made her representative of the era. The rock era is actually over now. Um, Sorry to have to tell some people who are still trying to hold on, but you know the big band era ended, yeah. and it didn't come back. And we're left with a group of recordings in a particular genre that are the classics of that genre. Boy, wouldn't it be great if there were Motown hits today? Yeah, but 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 something new comes. Something new comes. So what I'm saying is, yeah, styles evolve. Yes. And leave the old ones behind, but we remember the best. And Tina, okay. Full stop. What? Full stop. She was the best. I've mentioned the title, and and she was the best of that genre. Here she is. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful show. I call you, I need you, my heart's on fire. 